Hello everybody, welcome. Um, today's topic is on vitamin C serum. It's one of the very requested video by one of my subscribers. So uh, we're going to talk about vitamin C today and uh, it's going to be a long video. So please take a breath, sit back and listen to all the knowledge that I have and I'm going to deliver in this video. So the uh, aspects that we are going to cover today is the benefits, the stability, the absorption, the pH levels and the problems with the Indian vitamin C serums. Okay, so let's get started. So the benefits of vitamin C, it brightens skin, it protects from ultraviolet rays, it's an antioxidant. Um, it, since it's an antioxidant series, we are doing in this. It protects from... Uh, freckles, age spots, uh, it gives you a firmer skin, it keeps pigmentation at bay uh, and uh, it it synthesizes collagen that that is it brings all the amino acids together that's how vitamin C works it brings all the amino acids together which are the building blocks of the body so also collagen that's how vitamin C actually functions now there is a problem with vitamin C all these benefits can be delivered only when vitamin C is in stable form. The 90% of the serums that are in the cosmetic market today are not stable. So before you buy a serum, please give it a thought. Okay. So we'll see the stability of vitamin C. First thing is ultraviolet rays deplete the vitamin C dramatically. More than I think a little 20 minutes of uh, UV exposure depletes up to 50% of vitamin C inside the body. So just imagine when ultraviolet rays are able to deplete the vitamin C inside the body, how easy for them it is to deplete the vitamin C that we are applying topically, right? Next, if we eat sugar, we will deplete vitamin C inside our body. And most important thing, when vitamin C is not stable, as I said, not all serums are stable. When vitamin C is not stable, instead of protecting our skin from free radical damage and ultraviolet rays and brightening our skin, you know what it does? It does the opposite. It attracts the free radicals, it damages the skin more, it causes oxidation in the skin, it burns the skin, it makes skin darker, it causes pigmentation. Okay, so before you use a vitamin C, don't buy some cheap vitamin C serum because it, because of the claims of uh, what it uh, what it has, and then get all these extra problems to your skin which were not earlier. Okay, so we'll see what are the ingredients that are used in the form of vitamin C usually. The first one is ascorbic acid, L-ascorbic acid. When there was no proper research, the first ingredient that was used is L-ascorbic acid. Now it has been proven to be the most unstable form of vitamin C. Okay. Next, people use sodium and magnesium ascorbyl pho uh, phosphate, which is stable to some extent. Okay. The next thing is ascorbyl palmitate, which is supposed to be the most stable one. Um, and only, I think, one or two brands use this. That's it. Imagine there are hundreds of vitamin C serums in the market and only few, like not even 1% of them use this. And it's not quite stable in oil based, so you have to use a water based vitamin C serum, guys. Even these ingredients are used though, they are not properly formulated for them to kept or, or, or to keep them in a stable environment. They need, they have to undergo a lot of chemical transactions or say transformations for them to be stable. Okay, so the one that I'm using is from Oz Naturals. Uh, I'll just come to it why I'm using it. And the next thing is most of the serums in the market have a pH level of 2 to 3, which is quite acidic to the skin. Skin is around 4.5. So maybe something like 5 to 7, the serums which have pH level of this will be delivered to the skin properly. How many of the serums mention the pH level? None of them, right? Only the top brands. Uh, which are in the market, uh, which have done a lot of scientific research and all, which have gained a lot of name, only those brands will be taken and they will be done research. See, I'll just show you two to three pictures of vitamin C being unstable. Just a second. So do you see this? Ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, it also oxidize, uh, goes under oxidation and it converts into dehydroascorbic acid. So this causes lot of irritation on the skin and this is the reason why vitamin C instead of protecting us, it damages the skin more. This is a small graph from the internet. It's about the temperature uh, and the content and how vitamin C depletes day after day. 
so a product that is made and kept with lot of uh, preservatives and chemicals also please quite fast there is no guarantee about it did you see beyond 25 degrees it just depletes guys uh, the room temperature itself is 27 degrees celsius then under the room temperature if it's depleting imagine if you are going outside in the sun say 40 to 45 degrees just imagine do you think that vitamin c that you have put uh, almost 1000 and 2000 and bought and then applying is going to save you it's going to get depleted okay now we are going to talk about the problem with indian cosmetic market ingredients resorption stability okay see the moment i typed uh, uh, vitamin c serum i have got these things real uh, unlock recast active skin okay i'm not denying them i'm not i'm not uh, trusting the products i really don't know what kind of products but if you ever read the question and answers the uh, if you have asked them what kind of vitamin c they never reveal you i have so many times i uh, try to ask the seller what is it that you use they always say ascorbic acid come on man you're not even using l ascorbic acid you're using ascorbic acid which is quite unstable and you don't even use a uh, lot of uh, preservatives or say stabilized ingredients because you sell it for such a cheaper price you can never expect them to use proper ingredients okay okay so and then they only go by the western fashion you know they think that vitamin c gives super results so let's also make a vitamin c in cheaper version and then people will go crazy in india and then buy that's how they do it guys so the ingredients are of cheap quality remember that number 2 see some pharmaceutical companies you know in india there's a one good brand from sipla called vc15 yeah it's research it's a, it's a derma uh, it's a derma cosmetic product medicated product you can use it other products they don't have research they just do it something like that you know just by the trend they go and then do it we don't want that we want something that is proven to give results why do you want to invest your money your time your expectations in a product which doesn't give results right other thing is you know highly stable brands you know uh, like famous brands itself don't have stable vitamin c serums then just imagine about the indian brands how do you think they're really stable never guys i am not expecting them to be stable at all the price they come at so cheaper price 700 800 i really don't know how they tend to manage so i doubt the uh, you know somehow i doubt the formulations okay why i'm using a uh, oz naturals is it has i don't have not find uh, there's any found anywhere in other serums it has astaxanthin i told you astaxanthin is the most powerful antioxidants that protect your skin also of course it has rose hips uh, green tea white all these are antioxidants of course so that's the one reason why i use oz naturals okay this is the main reason i must say finally my word what i want to say is see your skin has dermis epidermis you know there's a layer between the uh, dermis and epidermis called uh, dermal epidermal junction okay that's the way that's the point where epidermis and uh, dermis meet and this every product has to reach this layer this particular layer to deliver you some results most of the serums don't reach this layer because they are not scientifically formulated only few serums that i know you know um are scientifically formulated i'm just going to give you the names of them so if it's not being delivered here only to apply on the surface of the skin just to give you you know a full feeling of you know it's a foolish feeling that you have applied something and it's not being absorbed that's the worst thing guys okay we're going to see few of the american brands that are actually proven to be good ones skin cuticle skin solution dr oz truth treatments the ordinary vitamin c osmosis these brands are trusted in india if you want to buy i am suggesting you vc15 active skin and recast see active skin looks to be quite promising i don't know why uh, and recast why i'm suggesting is it has glutathione as an antioxidant so if not vitamin c at least the glutathione will help you from free radical damage and all that's the reason why i'm suggesting the remaining ones you can use uh, but i have not done research on them to give you a verdict on them so before you use a vitamin c serum i would finally my word i uh, what i want to say is instead of using vitamin c serum as a, a source of antioxidant we can use so many other things that are more potential than that to protect our body from free radical damage from our i mean our face uh, we will do an antioxidant serum or a cream at at home cream that is proven to be very good if you want you just let me in the comments i'll make a cream and i'll show you how to make 
our antioxidant cream that is far 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 richer than vitamin C so what I want to say is instead of applying a vitamin C cheap vitamin C on your face instead of uh, buying 500 rupees vitamin C serum for that 500 rupees buy that chewable vitamin C and then ha daily have one you know within three months guys your skin will be beautifully glowing you know within 100 rupees you're able to achieve that why do you want to use a serum 500 rupees serum a 500 rupees serum will last you for say three months this 100 rupees uh, tablets also come for three months right each one rupee that is going to give you an amazing skin rather than tropical application if you want something antioxidant to protect your skin that we'll do in upcoming series let me know how you felt about it i know it's a long video but i just wanted to finish off this in one go please try to share it with your friends uh, and let me know how you feel about it in the comments and you can ask me any questions also thank you so much